All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started in this. I've got my colors picked out. I'm using a Drift Black Cherry Quasar, Scarlet and Monarch. Um, a Drift and Quasar are both coarse and the rest are ultra fine. And we're just gonna really mix this up kind of a thing. No actual plan with what we're doing since this is gonna be a peekaboo, it doesn't really matter. Um, so we're just gonna start and this is gonna turn into a crazy looking mess. Um, now, if you want, you can do swirls. You can do patterns, whatever you want to do. I am just going to sprinkle this stuff wherever I feel like and go from there. And like I said, this is going to kind of look like a hot mess at first. Put some on the bottom. Yikes. And with, because there's not like any method to this, we're gonna do this at a fast pace. So we're gonna speed this camera up so you don't have to sit and watch me do this for 30 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and speed this video up and get this going and I'll come back as soon as I'm finished. All right, you guys. So we are going to let this cure and then come back and do a second layer of epoxy over the top of it. And once that's done, we will be able to do the next step, which is the peekaboo. So now you can see it's got that nice fall colors with the teals and the purples and the green, greens, golds and orange and red. So we'll let this cure and we'll be back in just a second. Okay, guys, I have the cup all done here. So what I did is just went and did that second coat of epoxy on the top of the glitter. That creates a nice smooth surface to put the decals on here. Um, I have cut out a bunch of different shapes and sizes of different leaves to do the entire cup. And then once I get that on there, we'll go put some spray paint on here. So when you guys see this cup again, it's going to have the leaves put on here and then spray paint also on here. So that way you'll have to watch me do those steps. So we will be back in just a minute. Okay, so we're gonna do this again. Um, for some reason, my phone decided to stop recording while I was doing this, so let's start over. Um, spray painted this cup, just like a standard peekaboo, put the vinyl down, then spray painted over it. Now what I'm going to go do is remove the spray paint I'm going to rub it down so it removes, it pulls inward here, pulls up here. Do a few little accents in the white spaces here. I have Q-tips and I've got this really cute little tiny paintbrush. I'm going to try to do something with that to see if that works really well too. And it's just a paintbrush that I cut down. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. Where's my, there it is. Okay, so I have acetone. This is real pure acetone, 100%. You get this at the, the like... Home Depot, Lowe's, any local hardware store. Um, it is different than nail polish remover. And my lid's broken because I'm awesome. Which I hate because then it makes a huge mess. Okay, so just pour some in there. Make sure when you do work with acetone, you do two things. A, you wear gloves. And B, you work in a well-ventilated area. I'm luckily in a nice big room. And I've got my gloves right here. Fancy, fancy gloves. But you want to work with the gloves because if that gets on you, it can hurt you. If you have any weird allergies to it too, it can definitely mess with you. Um, but anyways, it's good to work in a well-ventilated room. All right. Ooh, that's like all weird. Hold on. Normally I take off my rings and I didn't. How do I do that? All right. Put those in my pocket. 
We're just all kinds of messed up today. And now my pinkies, there we go. All right, so we have all this stuff here and, excuse my reach, paper towels. All right, and that's what I'm gonna use to wipe the cup inward. And um, yeah, so we're gonna go from there. I have all my vinyl pieces cut out to do the outlines on the leaves, which we'll do next after we do all this. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm gonna do, okay, hold on. I'm just gonna tear little pieces because that's easier. All right, so I'm just gonna put it wrapped around my finger. You can use cotton balls, you can use whatever you want to do this. And this is only one layer of spray paint, so it's not gonna be difficult to start to remove the spray paint. Hope if I actually get some really good on that. Okay, so now we're just gonna rub back and forth. And get some pulls down in there. And we're gonna work away around the tumbler. And I'm gonna speed this up because this is gonna take probably a good 30 minutes. So we'll do this at a fast pace, fast pace. So you'll have to just sit here and keep watching this over and over again. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up so y'all don't have to sit and watch, but you can still watch. All right, so we've done the pulling in, we've, you know, distressed it a little bit in the middle. So now we're gonna do, let's take these off because we don't need them right now. All right, so I'll take that off and that off. Now comes my favorite part, peeling of the vinyl. So I'm gonna start, this is always the one part that makes me the most nervous because I'm always like, I'm going to scratch something that I shouldn't scratch. But if it scratches, I'm not worried about it. Okay, so now we peel the removable vinyl from the cup, which it's decided it does not want to peel easily, of course. But this is why I always love these types of tumblers, because I love when you get to start to see the the um, glitter really pop through. My goodness. That's what I get for leaving this on here for over a day. <laughs> this vinyl that I bought on Amazon is not that good. Okay, so now, uh, 
one at a time. Go around, peel them off. Come on, there we go. Oh, love the reveal of the color underneath. Okay, so see it's cool. Like, so you'll end up with this really cool, and I know that te like teal is not a color that's on leaves, or at least not where I live. Um, here in Texas, at least down where I live, we basically get brown. Our leaves start to turn like a yellow, and by yellow, it's just like they give up and they're just like, nope, we're dead. So we just go basically green to brown. Not much change in between. So now you get to see all the beautiful colors pop through. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, throw my trash away. Now the next part, putting on the outline. So I went ahead and cut these. This is just in gold chrome vinyl um, that I got on Amazon. I use this stuff a lot, This the silver and the rose gold that I have. And I, I had a copper and I used it all last year. So, okay. All right, so what I'm gonna do is line up this, you know, each leaf with the leaf that it matches. And we're just gonna go through here and peel and stick these on here. Now, I find it easier to line up from the bottom and then work my way up. So I just try to line it up as best I can. It does not have to be perfect. I have never made a tumbler that is perfect, and I never will. <laughs> that is just part of making cups. So now I'm gonna go around, do this real quick. Look at how pretty that is with the gold on it. Mm, so happy. All right. Moving to the next leaf. That one's just a hair off, but I'm not even worried about it. And that, I will tell you this, for the longest time doing cups like this, where it had the, the outline on top, used to make me so nervous because I was like, I have to make it perfect. And 90% of the time, I don't get it perfect, occasionally I do. Um, but your customers won't notice. They'll just be so overwhelmed with how beautiful the tumbler is. That's all they care about. And besides, it's art. It doesn't have to be perfect. That's my mantra, it's art. Typically the things that you will notice that are wrong with a tumbler are not even what a customer notices. So. It's the best thing. Almost done. Getting itchy for some reason on my arm. All right, now this one, we're almost finished. One. See. Come on. Okay. 
And I will say this, the gold, the rose gold or the silver that I have would have also looked really beautiful on this. Um, I don't know why I've been into really into gold lately. So that's what I've been using. All right, there you go. So now you can see how it'll look. And now the next step, of course, is put it under epoxy. But first, I need to clean up. If you look in here, some of the paint is still sitting on some of the the epoxy here. So I'm just going to wipe that down. Try to get off that excess paint that just rubs in there. There we go. Maybe on that side. Nope. Yeah. All right, so that is it and done. So now we're going to get this on the cup turner and put epoxy on it, and we will show you guys the finished product once it's all done. All right, you guys, here is the fall peekaboo tumbler that we did in that video. It turned out so great. I did add just a little extra because I'm a little extra to the tumbler where I added some of the Zodiac flakes to my final coat of epoxy to just give it kind of a little extra, extra. <laughs> but um, the tumbler is finished. It looks great. Um, we are going to be selling this as a pack on our website where you can get all of the colors that are in this um, on this tumbler. It's an easy tumbler that's very quick and simple to do. Like I said, you guys can be able to do this with lots of other different types of styles where you can do snowflakes for Christmas time and the in winter time. You can do hearts during Valentine's. You can do, you know, uh, my God, I'm just blinked. Uh, four leaf clovers for, you know, St. Patrick's Day and different things for spring and Easter. They're just really, really fun. Um, Peekaboos are actually probably my favorite cups just because I like having just like a little pop of glitter that comes through a cup. It's just kind of a fun, unique way to express everything basically with a tumbler. So this is the tumbler. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There was a lot of information in there, but that's okay. If y'all have any extra questions that I didn't cover in the video, just comment below and tell me, you know, what your question is. I'll get to you very quickly and answer. Otherwise, Make sure you give this video a thumbs up for a like in case you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you never miss any of our videos. If you want to get more information about Glitter Chimp, join our Facebook group at Glitter Chimp on Facebook. Or you can follow us on Instagram and TikTok. And we have a bunch of, bunch of content on there as well. Otherwise, you guys have a great rest of your day. I cannot wait to see the tumblers you guys create. And you guys have a great rest of your day. You all have a good one. I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye, guys. Bye, bye, bye.